Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper, and today is our follow-up video of the drilling and reaming of those big, those box tubes, those two by four, eight foot long box tubes. And there were a lot of great questions and comments, and I want to address those now because I didn't, um, didn't really respond on Saturday's video. Um, and there's a good reason for that, and I'll, I'll address that at the end of this video. Um, but I wanted to go over some of the questions and comments. Um, you know, there were a few comments about throwing the tools on the floor, blah, blah, blah. You know, stuff happens in the shop. It does. It always happens. You, you never know what's going to happen. Um, that was only the second time that's ever happened to me in the 10 years of owning this boring mill, is to lose it like that. Um, is what it is. Not a big deal. Uh, the reamer. Many of you thought this reamer was just crazy that I even had it. And that was kind of funny to me because I bought this reamer used, which <laughs> it's the only way I could afford it back then. But about eight, 10 years ago, to do a job for a customer, a repeat job that that customer is now out of business, long gone. Um, but it worked great, absolutely great for that. And it paid for itself, so it went in the drawer. And so luckily I had this reamer to do this job again. Um, and as much as I've used this thing, it is still in great shape and it still works wonderfully. But some of you noticed that it is an adjustable reamer. So this nut in the end here, you can tighten and loosen that to expand and contract the reamer size. So you can adjust it up to a few thousandths. I, you know, honestly, I don't know how much you can adjust it. I think quite a bit, honestly, if you really wanted to reef on it. But I've adjusted it to between 435, you know, 2.435 and 2.438. I think you can go more, I think you can go less, but I don't know for sure. Never had the need to. Um, but those are where I was running it for, for all the jobs I've done over the years with this reamer. So it's been a great tool, but this is a very large adjustable reamer. Now, I've got a few other reamers laid out here that I kind of want to go over and explain the difference in the reamers because um, a lot of people don't know what a reamer is or what it's for. All right, so right here I have laid out most of my different styles of reamers. And these are ones that I do use um, quite often, actually. Some of them not as often as others, like these tapered reamers. They're for aligning holes and stuff. I rarely ever use these, um, but they're used in bridge construction and, and other things. I have them. I don't know why I have them. I think I got them in a box with other stuff, but they're good to have. I've used them, I think, twice in the last 10 years. These are adjustable blade type reamers, and they're kind of, they're nice for some things. You use them kind of like a hand tap. They've got the the square drive on them and you can adjust on these threads here just back and forth and the blades expand and contract along this so the blade rides in this little groove here and it'll go in and out and that'll adjust so I've got a few different sizes of, the, of these again these were in a box of stuff I picked up years ago with these so they don't get used much they have come in handy though this is your standard chucking reamer, so it'll go in a drill chuck. Nothing special. And this is a basically a chucking reamer, but with a taper shank. Then we have our adjustable reamer that I used in the video on Saturday. And then these are shell reamers. And these are just a few examples of the ones I have. I have a lot of these. Um, I think this might be one of my bigger ones. And I saw the size on it, 2 and 13 sixteenths. I have a lot of these. In fact, I'll show you the drawer where I keep all these because there's a lot of them. All right, so I don't know if you can see this well, but these are all of my shell reamers that I've amassed over the years. Many different sizes. They come in many different sizes. Now, there are many different styles of reamers, and just these are just the examples I have on hand that I use. Um, and I've got them all the way down to an eighth inch up to, 
well, that one was pretty big, but I think there was a bigger one yet in the drawer there. I think it might have been close to three or three and a quarter inch. And the thing with reamers is you're not using them to take out a lot of material. You're using it to take out minimal material and clean up the hole. Um, they work best on a vertical spindle, but on a horizontal spindle, you can use them as well. Um, I find that, you know, like in the lion lathe with flood coolant, they work pretty good. It helps get the chips out of the way. But on the boring mill here, um, you know, if you're going deep, that chip will get caught in that, that flute and start cutting its well. So you will come oversized. But on a vertical spindle with a through bore, absolutely beautiful. We used to do a bunch of parts, um, which customer is long gone now too, that we had a one inch bore through a block, um, four and a half inches. And I do it on the radial drill, clamp it to the side of the table and just run the drill through and then run the reamer through and it was a one inch perfect tight fit all the way through exactly what was needed so reamers have their place they're a very useful tool is in the case of these uh, bars that i did the reamer worked out perfect um, they fit perfect i know the application it is actually a seal coat mixing tank so instead of welding all the way around they wanted a tight fit on the shaft and then they'll gusset it to drive those arms. So the shaft rotates um, and rotates these arms to mix in this big tank. And that they wanted it tight so that the seal coat, the fluid couldn't get down inside those arms. And I think it worked out perfectly. So eliminating the welds all the way around the shaft will eliminate a breakage point was a great idea. It worked out. Um, I don't have any pictures of it, unfortunately, but that's what it was for. So overall, the video, we had a lot of great comments and questions, and, and I appreciate that. Um, and I just want to bring up that many of you know how horrible things have gone the last two years now. Um, you know, one thing after another. And so Saturday morning was just another one of those. Um, Saturday morning, we lost Rocky. Um, Rocky was, was a great dog. He was a very good dog. Um, and uh, this has been very, very devastating on us. Um, we've known it's been coming. His arthritis has been really bad, getting worse. Um, he had a hard time walking anymore. And so we made the very hard decision on Saturday to, to finally just put him down. And, and uh, it's been very hard on us. So. Um, <laughs> It's, it's not been easy. I'm trying very hard to put together a video um, for this coming Saturday, a little tribute video for him. So if you know, you're interested, I'm gonna have, I have pictures all the way up from the day my wife got him, right all on through to the end there. Um, and some video, um, he's been in several of my videos here in the shop, just sneaking through or, or whatever. Um, he's been <laughs> one of the best dogs I've ever had. Um, you know, and I've had, I've had with him three really, really great dogs in my life. And he's right up there with, you know, all three of them been amazing, but he's been one of the best. Um, he never wandered. He always stayed close. He enjoyed hiking with us. Um, he's been, he's been places, seen things that most dogs never have done. Um, just, he's been, <laughs> I've never seen a dog walk up to the edge of a cliff and look out and just view everything. Just stand there and look. I mean, he loved our hikes. We had some amazing, amazing trips together. Um, so I'm gonna try to put together a video. It's been very hard, um, still very emotional because it's very fresh. And we're gonna try to do that for Saturday. So if you really wanna see the video, I, you know, I, I understand if you don't, it's very, a very tough thing, but um, he's had an amazing life and we want to share that. So with that, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, thank you again, everybody for watching and subscribing and staying with me. Um, and as you know, I mean, it's been very troubling times here in Northern Wisconsin and, you know, with a lot of things in my life. So I appreciate all the support and we're going to keep going as long as we can keep doing videos. And with that till next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.